so much. Hey, Angels. What's up? It's your girl, Alicia, and I'm here today with another video. Welcome to the Angels Academy, a God-ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable, and to grow into the fullness of God. So if this is your first time at the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come over and join the family. If you are already one of my angels, you guys know. I love you guys so much. So let me just take a second and thank all of my moderating sisters. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for helping me keep a clean and safe community here. You guys already know what we on in this season. Anybody come crazy down below in that chat. Block. Glory be to God. And I do not have the spirit to unblock. Pray for me. Let me just take a second and thank my super chat family. I love you guys so much. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you guys for sewing into God's vision here on the channel. So, hey, angels. Hey, family. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. And today we're diving into the prophetic word for the biblical number three, three, three. Glory be to God. So if you've been seeing this number everywhere, I'm talking about on license plates. I'm talking about when you're driving around. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit just drawing your eyes to it out of nowhere. I'm talking about on the club. Then this is your word today. Do y'all got your Bibles? Comment down below. I got my Bible, sis. I got my Bible so you know it's real. So before we dive into this word today, we got to take a second and invite the Holy Spirit in. Because you guys know that we do nothing here without God. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for this word today, Father. I thank you for enlightening us, Lord. I thank you for your miracles, your signs, and your wonders. I ask that you use me today, Father. Speak to your people, Lord Jesus. Whatever it is you want to say to them. None of me all of you use me today father in the name of jesus i pray amen comment down below amen so i know it's real angels so god told me to title this message today rainbow promises released three 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 glory be to god and if this is your word today this is your season for divine perfection wholeness and completeness glory be to god this will be a season of god's promises being fulfilled so get ready when you see this number it is a reminder of the trinity that you are not alone that you have the father the son and the holy spirit with you glory be to god you guys are literally entering into the promised land and it's finally time for you to experience the land that is flowing with milk and honey catch this message in the spirit and see god sent me here to tell you guys today that this is your season to confidently walk in your salvation and you're going to notice that every day jesus is extending his mercy and his grace to you in every way and so if this is your word today god is saying to continue to live a life that is righteous continue to lead a life that is righteous Righteous. And see, I love the threes, right? I love this number because this is literally a reminder of God's covenant promise. And this says that God has made a promise with you, just like he made a promise with Abraham. And so you're going to notice that you have a divine pact with God. And so what's so cool about this is that in this season that you're walking into, you're going to notice that when you call out to God, he hears you. Glory be to God. And he will answer you and he will show you great and mighty things. And see, because you have remained righteous, God is saying today that you will be blessed. And the ones that try to come against you, the wicked ones, they will be cursed. So this is your season of divine favor. This is your season where you're going to see that you can rely on God and that you can trust in his word see he sent me here today to let you know that he is truthful that he is a god that cannot lie listen to me so get ready get ready get ready for god's divine goodness and mercy know that you are protected and you will be filled with great peace in this season that you are walking into and see god is blessing you with a new life that's full of his abundance i don't know who i'm talking to today but you are in god's divine perfect plan for your life and this is your birthing season physically for some and spiritually for others glory be to god and so if this is your word today god wants you to know that he clearly sees you and he clearly hears you he has heard your prayers he knows your dreams he knows your wishes and he knows your hopes and it's just a matter of time before he answers these prayers so just continue to work while you wait keep the faith this is your time to focus on your own spiritual growth it's time to forget about everything and everyone else and focus on yourself and see this is the thing god knows your needs better than anybody else it's about the storm do y'all see how i just got dark it's about the whole storm 
Yeah, it's raining. And see, God knows your needs even better than yourself. So understand this. The things that you see happening in your life right now is not to punish you. These things are to help you grow so that you can live a fulfilled life. So that you can enter into the promised land. And although you may feel like your whole life is being turned upside down right now. God is saying today that you will manage to overcome it all and you will come out of it stronger than ever. Glory be to God. So if you've been seeing the numbers 333, three, three, this is a strong message that whatever it is that you've been praying for, it is on its way to you. And I feel led to say that everything will be perfected and completed in God's perfect plan for your life. So get ready for your season of restoration. Know that Jesus is with you before, during, and after the storms that is in your life. He is always with you. And he loves you. And so when you see the rainbow. Remember God's covenant with you. Remember his promises. Because they will surely come to pass. Now come on y'all. We got to read some scriptures. Get your Bibles. Because I know God is about to confirm this word for us today. Come on. Let's read it together as a family. Shall we? Okay y'all. First scripture. Exodus 33. And we're going to verse 3. And it says, go up to this land that flows with milk and honey. This is literally confirmation that you are about to walk into the promised land. Okay, Andrew, so Ezekiel 33 and then verse 3, it says, when the watchman sees the enemy coming, he sounds the alarm to warn the people. And so in Ezekiel 33, God gives a declaration that a day of reckoning is coming for the people who was pretending to love the Lord, but they denied him in their hearts and in their works. Glory be to God. Come on, y'all. Mark 3, verse 33. Jesus replied, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Then he looked at those around him and said, Look, these are my mother and brothers. Anyone who does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. Glory be to God. And this is confirmation that God is saying that you're a part of the family. Next scripture, Jeremiah 33, and we're going over here to verse 3. Ask me, and I will tell you remarkable secrets you do not know about things to come. And this is confirmation that when you pray to God, he hears you and he answers you. And he will show you great and mighty things. Okay, family, last scripture, Joshua 3, and we're going to verse 3. Giving these instructions to the people. When you see the Levitical priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, move out from your positions and follow them. These were anxious times for Joshua and the Israelites. They set out to the promised land, but then had to delay their interest for three full days while their leaders gave them instructions. Those instructions moreover dealt with the physical and spiritual realms. The people were commanded to remain approximately a half mile behind the Ark of the Covenant when the priests carried it. They were not to run ahead of God, but they were to receive their direction from God and to purify themselves. They were to dedicate themselves to God. Remaining close to see what great things he would do. No doubt it was as difficult then as it is now to follow God's plan rather than to rebel and go our own way. So glory be to God and God bless this word today. If this is the numbers that you've been seeing, you're about to set out into the promised land. Mark my words about it. Do not go ahead of God. Make sure you be patient. Listen, wait for the directions in the instructions in this season. God is going to be showing you some great and mighty things. Your promises are being fulfilled, saith the Lord. I love you guys so much. I pray that you guys receive this word. I know y'all like, Alicia, wasn't you just in your car, child? It's of rain and pouring thunder and lightning everything i had to get up out of there listen i'm tired and i need some rest so eliza's making me some tea now i'm about to drink some peppermint tea and just take a hot bath get my relaxation on but i had to come and bring you guys this word so tomorrow we're going to be diving in the bible prophecy for fo 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 okay so y'all get ready for that don't forget to thumbs up this video we are on the road to 50,000 angels and i cannot do it without you guys so thank you guys for sharing out the videos thank you guys for liking commenting, and subscribing i really do appreciate it don't forget to go and follow our other channels i will put it here go over and follow alicia motley gets fit you guys are the holy family we are the holy family go over and subscribe to the vlogging channel the holy family and there's a new vlog up there for you guys i don't know if you've seen it but i dropped it earlier today so go over and watch our family vlog and also make sure you subscribe to my mother's channel at ramona phillips teach go over there and learn something um, comment down below share some love let her know that i sent you 
If you have not gotten your holy anointing oils yet, go down below, click that link, and go over and get your holy oils poo. Somebody said, why are you calling them poo? Block. <laughs> Thank you again, Super Chat family. I love you guys. Thank you for sewing into guys' vision here on the channel. My moderating sisters, don't play with them. Period. <laughs> If this is your word today, you are chosen and you will be seated in high places. So stay focused. I love you guys. And that is the end of this video. Stay here with me, y'all. But always remember the secret to success. Put God first. Always be determined. And consistency is key. Period. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels. Mwah.